Okay, now the person in the gondola throws a ball at 40 degree to the horizon okay, at uh, 10 meter per second. Okay, 40, meet, 40 degree to the horizon. Horizon means the horizontal length. Okay, horizontal length. Um, if the ball is launched at a, at a height of uh, 100 meter, okay, one second, again, if the ball is launched at a height of 100 meter, where will it land? Yeah, calculate the horizontal distance SX. Okay, so we know this is a, uh, this one, he says he throws a ball at 40 degree. Uh, to the horizon so this one got an angle eh? launch at an angle so we we know this is a uh, sorry this is a projectile motion okay projectile mo motion because it throws a ball at an angle yeah angle theta uh, so this is the uh, horizon means the uh, Horizon means the horizontal distance, horizontal line or the x-axis. Okay, 40 degree to the x-axis. So this is the one uh, at 10 meter per second. So uh, this ball is launched at a height of 100 meter. So now fi find where will it land. That means where will it land? Here he wants the, uh, where will it land? Uh, land. So uh, find the horizontal distance. So where it lands means here is uh, from here and until here it land. Okay, this ball will you know will travel in a projectile motion until it land over here. Uh, so we need to find uh, this distance. Okay, this one. Uh, So this is the one we need to find as x. Okay, where will it land? Uh, measured from the uh, the point below the balloon. Okay, so how to do these questions? So always like projectile motion, you will have two components. Okay, you will have two components, x and y component. So you always uh, separate your work into two parts. Okay, separate your work into two parts. You have X and Y. Ah, uh, like that. Yeah, X and Y. And then, um, firstly, you know uh, about acceleration. Okay. And then, uh, acceleration is, uh, this is the uh, very, very uh, the thing you must know about projectile motion. Uh, X is a constant velocity. So, AX is zero. Uh, uh, ay is a uh, negative g okay because why because x is a constant velocity and y is a free fall motion uh, x is a constant velocity so ax zero y is a free fall motion so ay equal to negative g okay later on um, okay is given the velocity Okay, this velocity. Uh, this velocity can be resolved in two components. Yeah, if you look at here, uh, it can resolve into two components, x and y components. Ah, okay. So, uh, okay. So the okay x uh, ux this one is using co cosine theta. Okay, because it is uh, x component is adjacent to the angle. And then the y component is opposite to the angle. Opposite to the angle, we use sine theta. Okay. Uh, so you can write over here. Uh, ux is um, ux is uh, u. Okay. U is which is uh, 10 meter per second. So you just put uh, 10 uh, cosine 40. Okay. 10 cosine 40. How about ui? Ui is... Um, uh, going above you see that going above so it's positive and then it is using sine theta so it's 10 sine 40 uh, just put 10 sine 40 uh, okay now we already got the uh, 
acceleration and uh, initial velocity uh, what else we have uh, we have displacement you see that this is the displacement for displacement uh, this if you look at this one 100 meter so what is this what is this you see this ball okay look at the this is for the y components you, you see that this is for the y component displacement in y component uh, so uh, displacement in x uh, displacement in y okay so displacement in y component okay so to find displacement in y component look at the y component okay this ball uh, this ball undergo projectile motion is the same as this ball uh, free fall uh, the free fall motion going up and going back down uh, okay uh, the free fall motion okay uh, so um, you see this uh, this ball is just like this free fall motion in y components okay uh, where is the initial point uh, this is the initial point okay the initial level right this is the initial level and this is the final level over here yeah the ball finally will reach over here okay this is the final point okay uh, this one is the origin yeah this is the origin uh, so what is the displacement displacement in the y component uh, displacement is always the distance between initial and final initial and final so uh, so the displacement will be uh, straight downward uh, that means uh, from here straight away going downward to here too thick. Eh? On, I change the. Yeah. Oh, sorry. All right. So this is the displacement. Ah, uh, from here to here. Uh, directly. So we don't look at the top. The top part. Ah, uh, uh, because displacement. You know, displacement is the shortest distance between initial and final point. So it is directly downward here. Ah, uh, so this is the. Uh, you know the displacement in y component so this displacement in y component is uh, negative 100 meter because uh, this final is below origin you see that it is below 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 initial point uh, the final point is below initial point below the origin so displacement is negative when uh, the final is below origin uh, so we should put a negative sign there put a negative sign so uh, so from initial to final from initial to final is 100 meter uh, is 100 meter uh, that's it okay uh, what else information is given uh, no more yeah we already got all the information in the table okay uh, so let's um, let's let's do this let's do this we want to find the horizontal distance sx where it land that means where it land means from here from the landing point up to the point uh, below the balloon okay we want to find sx we want to find the range uh, it means we want to find the range so how uh, how okay so uh, this is the thing we want to find okay this is the thing we want to find okay so how how to link we have information in the y components how to link to the x component ah i always say that we always link by using the time because the time x is the same as time y once you find uh, you see that the y component has three information one two three so definitely we can get the fourth the fourth unknown you see that we get three unknowns we can get the fourth quantity we can get the value of the fourth unknown value uh, once we get the time here we can transfer the time to the x the time in the x component uh, and then we can use the time here to find the displacement uh, and then here we have a uh, three information to find the displacement okay so we looks like we have to start from the y components because uh, x component only have two information information not enough not enough to find the sx 
to find the displacement in x component yeah because only have two information we have to start from y component because it has three information i have three information you can find the fourth quantity okay so what what uh, we have to start from the y components we have to start from the y components okay um now so displacement is equal to ut plus half a t square okay displacement uh, equal to u t plus half a t square so um yeah s equal to u u u uh, s u a t yeah? s u a t so we use s equal to u t plus half a t square formula okay remember this is the y component so we should put the subscript y okay put the subscript y now uh, displacement in y we just put uh this is negative 100 and then u u is a uh, 10 sine 40 okay 10 sine 40 the time taken uh, this is one we, what we want to find the time taken and then plus half and then a y a y is negative g uh, remember the g is a positive value okay g is a positive 9.81 okay don't substitute another negative in, don't substitute another negative inside the g understand Okay, so G is negative 9, uh, no, A, AY is negative 9.81, uh, negative 9.81, okay, times, okay. so we need to find the time over here, so how to, uh, okay, we need to simplify this equation first, alright, let me simplify it, sorry, 9.81 divided by 2, I got this, um, uh, so uh, I, uh, this is 4.905 uh, t square okay the negative is gone when go to this side gone so this one go to the other side it become negative negative uh, 10 sine 40 uh, we just meant so what is 10 sine 40 10 sine 40 10 sine 40 is uh, yeah 6.42 uh, um, you know, seven nine, yeah, four decimal place. So more accurate, four two seven nine, yeah? four two seven nine e, um, and then um, positive negative, and then uh, yeah, this this one go to the other side become positive. This one go become negative. This one still negative negative 100 okay now use your calculator you calculator use equation function degree 2 yeah degree 2 so let's solve it okay so i got the time taken is uh, 5.22 uh, okay 5.22 second and then the other time is equal to um, a negative. Normally, the negative time we neglect because we know that time cannot move backwards. Yeah, negative time seems like the time move backwards. So we just say this value is neglected. We just take the positive time value. Positive time value. Ah, uh, so we got the time already. You see that from the y component. So we just fill in the blank over here. Uh, time is a uh, 5.22 okay maybe I use a red pen uh, yeah it is a uh, 5.22 second so the time in the y component is the same as the time in x component uh, they are the same and this is also the same as the time of projectile motion uh, as a whole okay so we got the time already we can now use the time to solve the x component to find the displacement in x component so now we go for x component okay x component so s u a t again use the same formula s equal to u t plus half a t square and uh, this is x all these are x yeah a x zero you see that a x zero so cancel off uh, so we have um, you know uh, we have um, 
s equal to ut uh, only yeah s equal to ut only so now we want to find okay the u is um u is a uh, 10 cos 40 10 cos 40 and then the time taken is 5.22 we got the time from the the y component uh, and then use it to find the x the displacement in x component okay so now let's do it uh, 10 cos 40 uh, times uh, 5.22 so what's the answer it is 39.99 meter uh, 39.99 meter yeah the this uh, the distance from uh, where it land is it correct uh 39.99 meter is almost equal to 40 meter yeah it's almost equal to 40 meter right uh so uh, i got the answer uh, this uh, range is uh, 39.99 meter yeah 39.99 meter uh, from the point below the balloon up to the point it land uh, this is the answer 39.99 meter uh, where it will land okay the horizontal distance as x the or we call it the range and this is the range okay uh, so that's all yeah very near to 40 meter